Okay, this is going to demonstrate how to properly set the thrust when you're building an engine. I have the dial indicator zeroed. I have the thrust cap loose. I've already smacked the crank fore and aft. And if I can get it to focus. There we go. It's about six thousandths. What you want to do is you want to take a big dead blow, not a hammer. You want to smack the crank. You want to smack it forwards, that, and backwards, like that. And forwards, and backwards. After that, you want to snug up these caps. I just want to snug them, and then I'm going to do it again. All right, the caps are snug. And that's a dramatic change. So that tells me my cap is not centered on the thrust bearing down low. So I'm going to smack it again and center it up. Okay, now we got the crank tight. Everybody's at 100 foot pounds. I'm zeroed out. And see my thrust is back. Not the best picture, but it's about six. And that's about what it was before, was six. Um, the other thing is, if I grab it, I can feel it thrust. Um, the engine assembly lube is quite thick too, so that might throw your readings off a thousandth or two, depending on. Um, if you really wanna do it accurately, do it with light oil or even no oil. Um, sometimes the bearings are a little different, and even though the same manufacturer the flanges might not be true, so you might have to hand lap a thrust, uh, a flange or two to get it right. But the gist of this is just make sure that you don't have eight thousandths of thrust before you tighten it. And then after you tighten it, you only have two. That's bad. You have to keep the thrust exactly the same. If it changes, something has changed. Your bearing's out of alignment. Your cap is too far forward. Your cap is too far back. Your cap is cocked, very unlikely. Something's not right. You need to check it and verify it. So that is the point. Verify your thrust.